Good morning, this is Doug. And I'm Cindy. Welcome to Help Me Help Mama 5 Cast. Thanks for joining us today. Today we're talking, I saw a great article in ChristianCentury.org and uh, talking about, among other things, what type of caregiver are you? And it raised three different ones, three different journeys that you may be on. Number one is a roller coaster. I went through that with my mom. She had congestive heart failure. She'd be going good for a while. And then we'd go to the emergency room and come back down. And then she'd be going good for a while. And then something else would happen. She'd choke and we'd go to the emergency room to come back down. It was a lot of emotional stress, really, really emotional. And then one was the marathon, which has lasted a long time. And I guess you could also describe your journey with your mom as marathon. It was. Several years. Journey. Yes. Marathon is more um, the dementia, uh, Alzheimer's. Ever, most people are familiar with Alzheimer's. I mean, typically from the, the people that I have spoken to, from the time they actually get a diagnosis, they have seen signs of something going on for at least two years. So they've been taking care of things for this two years and now they've got, could be two, could be 10, could be more ahead of them. So that is a marathon. And then one was deep end and that was my mom. My mom had a massive stroke and uh, she never recovered. Several months of her life was hospice resulting in death. That may be a situation where it may be like a stroke or it may be congestive heart failure. It may be something that hits quick and hits hard and uh, gonna result in pretty quick death and you know may involve caregivers being involved uh, intensely at home giving medications giving treatments having to learn you know medical procedures to help their loved ones stay at home this article talked about the role of churches in all of this and how people were a lot of uh, caregivers are plugged into the church you know and some churches provide caregivers to help a few hours a day and when you're caring for a loved one any help you can get is wonderful because sometimes you just wish you had an hour you know away also when you when you go into church and you've been going to that church for a while it's they are your family right and when you are a caregiver you can never have enough family you need more you need that emotional support you need support to help give care whatever help you can get from your family and in this case the church members are your family right so what type of caregiver are you and what best describes your journey? Would you say it's marathon? Would you say it's roller coaster? Or would you say it's deep dive that you're something intense like a congestive heart failure or stroke has happened to your loved one? Let us know in the comments below. And as we've announced previously, we're doing several caregiver stories in the next few days. So you won't want to miss any if you hadn't subscribed to this channel. Please subscribe, click the notification bell so you will be notified when these come up and let us know your caregiver story like i say type in the comments and if you would like to be featured on this channel and us to interview you and get your caregiver story let us know we'll just contact you contact me at doug at helpmehelpmama.com and we will contact you to set up a time you can just use your phone it'll be easy we'll capture your caregiver story online and it'll help a lot of people. We appreciate that and we appreciate you watching today. Thanks for watching. Have a great week. And thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life. Hope these tips help today. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. Click the notification bell at the top so that you'll be notified when we do other videos. And please comment below. We love to hear what you think, get your input, and share your story. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life.